Hi. My name's George Lucas. Hello, nice to meet you, George Lucas. Have you seen Star Wars? Mm, I think I may have at some at some point. So uh, what, what do you remember? Um, there are a lot of um, uh, lightsaber scenes. Yeah, those are the best ones. Yeah. We put a lot of work into those ones. Oh, I'm glad you did. That's yeah. what I would always say to the choreographers. I want this to look like a crazy sword fight dance. That was always my plan. We were limited by budget in the original trilogy. Mm. Nice, nice. And in the sequel trilogy, they did a great job. Yeah, I think they did a pretty good job from what I can remember. Yeah, but you can't remember them and that's the point, isn't it? Is it the point? Do you want them to be memorable? I wanted them to be memorable. Hello. Hello, George. Uh, Hello. I've been George's assistant now for about, oh, three years? These are some Oscars I bought myself, you know, um, when I'm all... having a bad day. But this is the amount of Star Wars films I made. Yeah, it started when George first came down to Melbourne. Um, he was just going through some stuff with his wife and the films and the, the process, but uh, every time he's down, I just give him a yeah. hand with some of the... Because, you know, George, George really isn't happy about what happened. My friend Steven Spielberg. <laughs> Disney has allowed me to... Um, they didn't invite me to the Disney uh, Investor Day because I'm not an investor at Disney or else things would be different. But they have let me uh, share the good news. The Rogue One prequel is called Star Wars Ander. The yes. Rogue One was... Um, We're really excited for uh, Andor. Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi will feature Hayden Christensen as Darth Vader, which was my idea. Lando Calrissian is getting an event series. The Mandalorian will have at least two spin-offs. Do you, do you know the Mandalorian? No. Okay. Star Wars Rangers of the New Republic. Wait, you the old Republic? Yeah, I didn't get a chance at the new one. In 2022, Indiana Jones 5 will be released. I will not be involved. It's proof. It's, it's proof. Question mark. It's proof. It's, it's a proof. Yeah, it is proof. No, we have a pool at Skywalker Ranch. Liam Neeson, who is over there. Liam Neeson was in um, Phantom Menace. So what do you do in the downtime? Um, I hang out in my pools at Skywalker Ranch. You know, I have three pools and no one to share them with. Would you like to be in my pool? Um, I can't swim. Oh, you know, a lot of people actually can't swim. You know, everyone I've asked can't swim. Who is this? That's the queen. The queen? Um, I actually created a queen myself, Queen Armadala. Her actually she has a backup called Padme. Well, okay, so the film opens with trade negotiations. Are you still sending emails to Bob? Um, he stopped replying to me a few years ago. But, well, Bob's not the CEO anymore. You've got to go to... Jack, do you know who the CEO is? Of Disney? Yeah. Bob Chapek. No, wait, Bob Chapek's the CEO. Yeah? Yeah, so the new CEO is also Bob. You might have been sending emails to Bob Iger, not Bob Chapek. Bob's the bald one. Oh. Yeah. Cancer. I might be able to get his email. Have you tried Bob Chapek at WaltDisney.com? Let me see. Okay. I'm a big fan of your movie on Red Tails. Oh, thank you. It's the first old black action movie, and it's by me. You speak to 100 times. Sometimes you're gonna think about it. <laughs> don't, don't be afraid. I wanna go to sleep. If I would have gone that way, I'd Don't be afraid. Sorry. Yeah, it was not a really. I need a new costume. <laughs> they go to Bob Ness. Bob Ness is played by Brian Blessed. Have you, do you know Brian Blessed? I think so. Brian Blessed or is in Star Wars? Now, this could be a new Star Wars fan or a new friend, and I, I never know which. Hey, 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 wait, hold up, hold up. We're just wondering if you've got Bob Shepek's email. What the fuck? Who the fuck is Bob Shepek? Uh, the CEO of... Fuck. Disney. Yes, you've heard of Disney? Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh! I, uh... George created Star Wars. I created Star Wars. Okay. George. It's gonna be great. Yes, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be fantastic. It's gonna be chased by a giant fish. Then it's like a bigger fish. By a fish. By a fish, but then Liam Neeson says there's always Because there was a bigger fish. Then there is a bigger fish. Then there is a bigger fish. I looked at different sort of historic backgrounds to different cultures and the kind of just found the kind of culture that would, you know, be sort of in the slums and um 
you know, making a profit at whatever cost, you know, and keep child slaves. I thought that, you know, I sort of just, it was an amalgamation, you know, but uh, of course that's why I cast you to voice, um, what else? Do the bug on ya! See? Now this is Padme? Padme? Do you know Padme? So Jar Jar Binks is fighting against the droids. Is that blob, right? No. Anyway, there are any any Skywalker is also in the spaceship. I'm sorry, I don't understand the Star Wars. Oh, well, it's uh, it's a shame they don't give out Oscars for uh, being experts at Star Wars. If so, I'd have one for uh, digital um, revolution in film. But famously, doing very special effects in the prequels. Please don't interrupt. Um, famously, there was no uh, there was no digital effects in the prequels. Do you believe that fans are like beholden to follow whatever your ambitions are? I think fans are dirty, and they give me money. <laughs> and they give me money. Thank you so much, got it. Yay, Prune head. Oh. How does Christmas Day end? Um, with a Star Wars, uh, watching all the movies, um, Close. together on box set, um, make sure to watch these special editions. Well, we've got no babies here to sacrifice. How close was these? With the letter Y. Noir. How does Christmas Day end? It ends, it ends in a Y? I think I've broken my back. <laughs> Have you been doing anything since 2012, John? Um, mostly going on Charlie Rose and complaining. It doesn't matter what reviewers think, it doesn't matter what regular people think, it matters what I think. Yeah, definitely. I have a lot of um, short film ideas that I'm uh, working on that I'm, I'm sure to get, I'm gonna get to soon. Are they Star Wars short films? Are they. Um, no, I don't own Star Wars anymore. Um, I don't think it's that simple. <laughs> Star Wars has accumulated in value somehow. Now, well, Hayden Christensen, he was saying, you know, I need to talk to Natalie Portman. Do you all know Natalie Portman from the? Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. I think they're all doing heroin. Are we listening? Okay. Hayden Christensen uh, was saying, like, I can't talk to this tennis ball. This is a Natalie Paul. You know, this is um, a picture of myself. Um, age... Star Wars, 90, 90, 90. Do you remember how you were feeling on the set of Star Wars 1? Um, Star Wars episode Phantom Menace? Um, so then episode 5, uh, there was... Uh, Are you listening? Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back. Are you from the war? You know, I based Star Wars on old war serials. Back when I was a little boy. You know, I when was that? Uh, 1940 something. Have you guys listened to uh, Boingo Boingo? I have actually. Okay. I listened to the album. Uh, yeah, that's the kind of music you listen to, you know? No, I listened to it once and I didn't like it. Hello. Some kind of crazy Star Wars language. What do you want in the subject? What do you? Um, to Disney. Oh, but no. To Disney. Just getting. Just wanted to see what you had in mind for Star Wars. I have a whole lot of ideas in a notepad that I recovered from the fire. Is that all you want to say? There's Not a lot I want to say. He lifts the Emperor up. He throws him off, and that's the end of Star Wars. I have a question. Will Dark Maul make a return in Star Wars episode? Well, if only, if, some, if the right person said, where are you going? And, um, excuse me. And, uh, something that's exciting about, uh, Star Wars, uh, I think, is that... So, anyway. Star Wars episode... We'll go back to one. Star Wars episode one... <laughs> <laughs> excuse me. Now, this is what I used to look like. Back when I was young. I'm still young, but this is when I was younger. I miss a lot of stuff. Thanks for joining me. Thank you. Do you ever feel like you've, you know, you've lost something? Yeah. Yeah. 
it hurts. It's hard to move on. From. Yeah. I mean, that's the moving on. You know, I don't think I can. Yeah. Hmm. How long have you been? How long has it been since you lost your thing? Eight years. And it's sort of only. I thought I'd, you know, I'd get past it, you know. But it didn't happen. Mourning is hard, you know. It takes our whole lives to mourn just like the separation from our mother at birth and the thing that we once were that we lost. Yeah. Everything's mourning. I don't know when it ends. When do you think it'll end? Probably when we die. I think we're always mourning something and we just shift the object of our mourning. Hmm. You know? I'm not sure though. What are you mourning? I don't know. Maybe I feel that way because I, I don't I don't have much to mourn, so I don't know what it's really like. We haven't lost enough. Mm. Mm. Have you lost things before? Yeah. Do you still miss them? Yeah. <laughs> but does it hurt less? Sometimes. Mm. I'm glad we got this talk. Me too. How do you feel about being around this many people? Um, I've only been around two people in the last ten years, and one of them is dead. Have you ever lost something that you uh, thought you had and then you lost it? I lost my iPod Nano in 2016. Oh, let's see if Rogue One came out. <laughs> what, are you, what, are you guys, what are you guys doing out here? I don't know, we're just hanging out. We're just hanging we're out. A conversation. We're friends. So, uh, we sent an email earlier to Bob Chapek at Disney. I've just got a response now, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna read the email to him. So we're gonna we're gonna see how he takes it. Cereals, not as in what you eat, but as in uh, cereals that you you know the old war cereals. Ronald Reagan was in them. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm talking to my friend. Uh, we've just got a response back from okay. Bob Chapek. Uh, it just says, automatic email response, Bob Chapek is out of office. Well, who cares what he thinks? Yeah. You know? Uh, who cares what so Disney thinks? You know, maybe we don't need Star Wars. Oh, we have. Thank you. Had opportunity to do more. I don't think they need to do three Anyway, when you're directing actors, you want them to perform less. Like, they did, like, in my um, Funny out here, like when Hayden Christensen would be in his trailer.